Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about why tiny leader, tiny leaders died. And so, tiny leaders was a format. In case you guys didn't know what it was, it was a format that was, in my opinion, poorly managed. People were extremely greedy. They tried to trademark it, although that makes no sense. It would be like someone trying to trademark conspiracy, right, or EDH or something like that. Um, and then they just had a terrible ban list, and the deck. The decks that were dominant, they were too dominant, and they didn't really control, uh, they didn't understand what they were doing. Essentially, it all comes down to the fact that they wanted to make a lot of money, and they did not understand what they were doing. So the inventors of Tiny Leader, and I hate to say that they invented it, because at the end of the day, it's if you want a format to be popular, you need people to be involved, to be committed to it, and you can't have one inventor. So I forget what his name was, because it's not relevant for this video. And he said he invented it. And then he made his website and everyone had to follow his rules and bans and everyone, you know, and then he tried to get trademark on Tiny Leaders and all this kind of just, but that all of that is fine. He could have made a lot of money from it if he had managed the ban list better. So the ban list was just ridiculous and it didn't make any sense because you had a tier one deck that was miles better than the next few decks and they, they just dominated. So the format was solved quite quickly. And what happened was, I think what happened initially was it wasn't as popular as most people uh, believed it was because MTG Finance jumped all over. Uh, if you give MTG Finance the ability to say, oh, this card is good in you know this format and therefore we need to buy out the card, they will go ahead and buy out the card. And that's what happened is a ton of these crappy cards that were only good in Tiny Leader were bought out and their explanation was they're good in Tiny Leader. And that kind of piped and people were like, what's Tiny Leader? Okay, I'll explore it. But what they didn't realize was the format is really bad. I don't know um, too many stores. I'm sure that somebody will comment, oh, my store does Tiny Leader tournaments and we all we play is Tiny Leader. Okay, that's cool. But for the large majority of people, Tiny Leader is, is no longer a viable format. And why should it be when you have conspiracy format, when you have draft format, when you have all these better things to do. And Tiny Leaders has just never... I made Tiny Leader deck profiles because I was like, oh, I'm going to get into this. And my locals, they were playing Tiny Leaders because my store got into it. But at the end of the day, it was just a money grab. And I totally get it. You know, there are some cards that are only really good in Tiny Leaders and they all spiked. Check them out. Check the card prices right now. Smutter. I, um, what, there's so many other just random cards that you would never play anything but Tiny Leader and they have just plummeted in price because that's what you know it was. It was a pump and dump. It was, hey, we're going to hype up this format so we have a reason to tell people to buy these cards that we have a lot of. We will sell the cards into hype, and then once the format dies because or the format gets weakened, we will have already made our money. So that was what Tiny Leaders was. Um, Tiny Leaders wasn't really a, in my eyes, a long term or eternal format. It was just a excuse for people to make money from cards that were not good uh, in any other format. And you, I think 93, 94, I don't, can't really speak about it, but from my experience, people who play that format, they live in like Europe. Like, I don't know who plays it in the US, and I've actually never played a game of it. Um, I don't even have a deck. But I'm not going to speak about that format, because maybe in time, I will be able to once that, like, those cards collapse. But right now, Tiny Leader cards have collapsed in price, and I don't think they're going to recover because as a format, it's just not fun, it's not interactive, and you have a tier one deck that's so dominant, the format has been solved. It has been solved within like two months from when it was uh, got popular. And I, that's just bad management in my opinion. Anyway, uh, maybe you guys will have a different opinion, maybe Tiny Leaders is the format of your choice. Uh, leave a comment below why you feel like Tiny Leaders is still alive, or what happened to Tiny Leaders? Like maybe you can clarify what exactly happened to it because no one plays it that I know now. And it used to be at my local game store about half the players, um, eight of the players played it and now no one has any interest in it anymore. Uh, leave me a comment below. <laughs> Bye guys.